So I am currently at DuPont Circle in Washington, D.C., and we are going to test something out at Farragut Crossing. Supposedly there is such thing called a virtual tunnel at, the Farragut, at Farragut Crossing where you can go between the Farragut North Metro stop and the Farragut West Metro stop. Farragut North Metro stop has the red line and the Farragut West Metro stop has the orange, blue, and silver line. And I'm going to be going from DuPont Circle, where I am now, um, to Foggy Bottom and we're going to see how long it takes with the Farragut Crossing virtual tunnel and we'll also see if the Metro charges me correctly and just overall how convenient it is. By doing that, you do have to go outside. It's the Metro's only out of system transfer that I know of. And um, instead of going to Metro Center and then McPherson Square and then um, uh, Farragut uh, West, you basically you know just cross right there and you save like three um, stops. So we'll see how easy it is to do. And um, let's get on with our little trip. Okay, so our fare to Foggy Bottom should only cost two dollars because it's off peak right now. So we tap our card. We have three dollars and thirty cents. So we we should have a remaining balance of a dollar thirty afterwards. Let's go take the train. Towards Glenmont. We're going to stay here because we want the farthest south part of the platform. We're just going to be on this side, and I think our train says two minutes. actually a sign that says Farragut Crossing this way. So let's go that way. May as well take the elevator. Welcome to the Farragut North Station. Okay, let's come out here. Still have a few minutes to wait, and let's head over to Foggy Bottom. Let's 
So there we go, now I'm in Foggy Bottom. As you can see, my Smart Trip card still has a dollar and 30 cents left, so it was only two dollars to get all the way from uh, Farragut Crossing, well, Farragut North, I, well, actually, no, DuPont Circle, all the way through Farragut Crossing, and then all the way to here, Foggy Bottom. And I would say that it was a little bit faster than going to Metro Center. I've gone to Metro Center and come over here in the past. It definitely takes longer because you have three extra stops. Um, that you would have to make in order to get here. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this, this short video. As always, have a great rest of your day. You can always subscribe below. I hope to make some more videos soon.